It is great to be with all of you today. I am Dr. Tejal Gandhi, Chief Safety and Transformation Officer at Press Ganey and Senior Fellow at the Institute for Healthcare Improvement. I have had the pleasure of co-chairing the National Steering Committee for Patient Safety for the last four years, along with my colleague, Dr. Jeff Brady, who you will hear from shortly. The National Steering Committee, NSC, for Patient Safety was convened by the Institute for Healthcare Improvement as a collaboration of 27 national organizations dedicated to advancing patient safety. The NSC was used to channel the expertise of various stakeholders, influential federal agencies, leading healthcare delivery organizations and associations, patient and family advocates, and respected industry experts to create a set of actionable and effective recommendations that focus on foundational work needed to advance patient and workforce safety. The NSC created Safer Together, a national action plan to advance patient safety, which advocates for a total systems approach to safety with 17 specific recommendations for advancing safe and highly reliable care by driving improvement in four foundational areas, culture leadership and governance, patient and family engagement, workforce safety, and the learning system. Long-standing patient safety concerns combined with unprecedented setbacks in patient and workforce safety as a result of the pandemic have increased the urgency with which all leaders must respond. Every executive and governance leader in healthcare has an obligation to defend and promote the fundamental value of safety for all. This dedication to patient and workforce safety is paramount to achieving safe and reliable care, especially when combined with the safety measures outlined in Safer Together's recommendations. Therefore, we urge all healthcare leaders to reaffirm their commitment to patient and workforce safety by implementing the Safer Together National Action Plan to advance patient safety, to accelerate our progress towards a world where patients and those who care for them are free from harm. Now I will hand things over to Dr. Jeff Brady, my co-chair on the National Steering Committee, who will talk about how organizations can get started. Hello, as Dr. Gandhi said, my name is Jeff Brady and I serve as the Senior Vice President for Enterprise Research and Innovation at Highmark Health. It has been my pleasure to help lead this group since the Institute for Healthcare Improvement convened us to begin this work. We owe thanks to IHI and to those who contributed their time and experience to the committee's work and to the process of developing the plan. The plan serves as an impressive collection of many lessons learned and presents those insights in an action-oriented package. Our charge was to summarize this important information in a way that it would actually be used, and I think the group met that challenge. In order to use the plan, organizations should first review the recommendations in the Safer Together National Action Plan. As Dr. Gandhi noted, culture and leadership are foundational to patient safety improvement, which is why organizations need to appoint a senior sponsor and a core team to lead the deployment of the Safer Together self-assessment tool. Awareness is essential for improvement and the self-assessment tool will help organizations take account of their own current state in the four foundational areas. Finally, the Safer Together Implementation Resource Guide contains strategies, tactics, measurement, and improvement tools that can be used to meaningfully strengthen and sustain performance in each of the four foundational areas. Zero harm in healthcare necessitates leadership commitment and action. Organizations must execute the systems bundle consistently in order to refocus and achieve safe, dependable, and equitable care. These investments can also bolster system resilience. Safer Together offers leaders the opportunity to examine their current basic safety practices and to apply practical solutions for a clear and sustainable path that leads to safer care. The fundamental responsibility leaders have to ensure patient and healthcare worker safety cannot be overstated. Together, we call on all healthcare leaders to devote the time and attention that is necessary to use the National Action Plan and to work to eliminate threats to the safety of patients and those who care for them. 
Thanks to everyone who is already working to fulfill our shared obligation to safer care.